The most pronounced word in the scientific field in the recent times is AI, artificial intelligence. AI has become a reality from fantasy. Machines that help humans with intelligence are not just in science fiction movies, but also in real life. We are using AI in our daily life, either knowingly or unknowingly, and somewhere it has become a part of our lives. To understand better, I can give you a really good example. In the movie Endrin, in which the robot is an AI creation, artificial intelligence is a very vast subject. So, I would like to just give a short summary or a gist about it. Don't worry, I won't take much of your time. So, let us dig into the topic. Before we move any further, I need we need to understand why AI is important. You see, you see, AI forms the foundation of computer learning. We use computers in our day-to-day -day life. We use it for attending meetings, replying to emails, shopping, and everything is done in computers. Why is AI used in computers? It is used to harness massive amounts of data to do what? To make decisions and discoveries. Next, we are going to see about influence of AI in various fields. These are the topics we are going to see today. Transportation, healthcare, media, manufacturing, education, and customer care. The first subtopic we are going to see today is transportation. This is a very common example in the recent times. Self-driving cars have been launched by many car companies recently. You don't have to lift a finger if you have to go to your destination. All you have to do is say to the car and it will take you to your distant place. It also helps to improve fuel efficiency and safety. Next topic is healthcare. AI has had a huge impact, especially since the pandemic. It enables healthcare system to track and monitor patient, gain genetic data, diagnose health conditions, and, pres and prescribe suitable treatments too. Even these times, robotic surgeries are available, hand-free surgeries are performed, and you don't have to go into the operation theater itself. The next field is media. So let us take, you are scrolling through your comfortable uh, social media app, say Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. You see so many ads popping up on your screen. What is that? That is also a form of AI. What AI does is it enables social media marketers to get closer to their audience and understand their preferences. Your likes and dislikes are noted by them. The next field is manufacturing. We see so many different AI creations being used in the factories to load things and unload things, arrange them properly in correct order, etc. So these increased use of robots and factories will enhance the quality of products. We don't want to buy low quality products, right? We always prefer quality over quantity. That is, overall equipment efficiency and first seal production is also improved by the use of artificial intelligence in manufacturing. The next field is education, which is well known for the all of us. During the pandemic time, we all were using many online devices to attend the meetings and whatnot. The first point here we're going to discuss is personalization. You see, every one of us, each student has different level of learning, different method of understanding things, and different targets to achieve. For this, AI can help students to learn better and faster when paired with high quality learning material and instruction. It provides better quality learning and the quality of teaching is also better. It is also better for students with special needs and all of your information is organized by the use of AI. You can organize it in separate folders using your Google Drive, for example. The last field is customer service. I can give you a very, very common example even seen in our schools. Biometrics. The teachers, they press their thumb in the green color light in the, in the ground floor of our school. We all have seen that. It is used for authentication and access control. And the next, another common example is your face recognition in your smartphones. And the last example is chatbots. Chatbots. Let's say you're going shopping on a, on a store's website. Immediately as you enter, a pop-up pops on your screen and it says, Hi, my name is this and I'm your virtual assistant for your shopping experience. This is the conversional AI customer service that allows you to have a more personalized experience with the shop's website and it also responds to your queries. So far, we have seen about the influence of AI in different fields and why is it important. So after discussing all this, automatically another question will arise. Should we fear AI apocalypse? You see, the major threat posed by AI is a violation of human rights, that is, by invading your privacy. For example, you have all these voice assistants 
voice assistances like Alexa, Siri and Google Assistant and also the fake face recognition in our smartphones. These all have been blamed for invading the privacy of humans and eavesdropping into their lives. They know each nook and corner of your lives from what time you wake up to what you eat for breakfast till what time you go to sleep. Let's say you're searching for a product in Amazon. Okay, let's take a watch. You're scrolling through all the products of different brands in Amazon and you click on the ones that you're comfortable with and you add it to your cart. And after some time, you're scrolling through your comfortable social media apps, say Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, anything. And as you scroll down and down, you see all these ads popping up of the watches that you bought of the different brands and different prices. It is the same with different social media platforms. And you see, this is a perfect example of invasion of privacy. But by now you're probably confused. So you're saying artificial intelligence is very smarter than us and it can do processes more efficiently than us. So what will happen to us humans then? Which automatically leads us to our next question. Will AI dismantle workspace? We have the two most famous people on earth, Elon Musk and Stephen Hawking. These both have warned humans against the consequences and threats of technology, like taking over the human workspace and causing massive job loss. So this is a problem. What can be the solution for it then? Now, I want you to listen to this point very, very carefully. This solution we have been hearing from a class one. It is really simple. So what do our teachers say when the syllabus is vast, the question paper is tough, and when we get low marks, what do they say? I want you to think about it for a moment. They say, students, you should work hard, concentrate more, practice a lot, and improve your knowledge. The same goes with the solution here. People should train to do high-skill tasks like programming, coding, etc and work hard to surpass AI technology. Technology will not stop growing. So what we need to do is work harder and surpass the growing technology. So practically, every coin has two sides and AI is no different. Now we are going to see about the benefits and the risks of AI. First, the benefits. It increases work efficiency, like we've discussed before, and it also works with high accuracy, which also we discussed before, and it improves the processes by enhancing the quality of it. The risks of AI includes less job to humans, as we've just discussed now, and it may, may turn against humans, as they show in the movies like Terminator, Matrix, Age of Ultron, etc. And the last point is that it causes damage to the environment. How, you may ask? The main elements used to create AI are selenium and lithium, both of which are very rare on the Earth's crust. So, as you create more and more artificial intelligent devices, the less will be the availability of these two elements. So, what happens? You dig more and more into the Earth, which causes damage to the environment. Therefore, putting it all in a nutshell, the, risk, the rise of AI-powered machines has strongly eased our lives in many ways, but there is always a need to strongly emphasize on creating ethical codes and policies to ensure that the risks associated with AI are mitigated to the minimum. I conclude with the famous words of Dr. Kai Fu Lee. AI is going to change the world more than anything in the history of mankind, more than electricity. At last, I would like to thank our respected principal ma'am and all the teachers for providing us this wonderful opportunity. And I also thank you for being such a wonderful audience. Thank you.